Click the Numbers icon in the dock or double click its icon in the iWork folder inside the Applications folder. In the template chooser that appears, select Personal Finance and select Loan Comparison. Click Choose. To save this file, choose Save from the File menu. This is what the template looks like when you first open it. Use Sheets to divide your spreadsheet into parts. The Sheets pane shows the tables and charts in each sheet. The Inspector button opens the Inspector, which provides in-depth formatting tools. The toolbar allows you to add and edit objects. The Format bar provides tools for common tasks. Use the formula bar to add and edit formulas in table cells. In the Styles pane, choose a predefined style to quickly change a table's appearance. When there are multiple table cells selected, this area shows the results of instant calculations on the values in the cells. The loan comparison table in the template you're using has a header row, a header column, and a footer row. Select the Loan Comparison table by moving your pointer to the edge of the table. When the pointer changes to include black crosshairs, click to select the table. Square selection handles appear at the edges of a table when it's selected. To work with a particular cell, you select the cell by moving the pointer over it. The pointer changes to a white plus sign and you click the cell to select it. When a cell is selected, its border is highlighted. Also, reference tabs appear around the outside of the table. You can use the reference tabs to refer to cells in formulas, select entire rows and columns, and more. Click the table handle to select the table and drag it to move the table. Reference tab letters refer to columns. Reference tab numbers refer to rows and the border of the selected cell is highlighted. The value in the cell you just selected is derived using a formula that's associated with the cell. To see the formula, look at the formula bar. The formula adds the value in two cells which are highlighted using color in both the table and the formula bar.
Click the cell containing the tax length in months. When you click on the small arrow that appears, a pop-up menu opens. The pop-up menu is one kind of cell control. Cell controls provide a way to control the data that a cell can contain. In the case of a pop-up menu, the cell can contain only one of the items in the menu. Charts provide a graphical way to display table data. In the template you're working with, the monthly payments chart shows some of the data in the loan comparison table. To see which table data is represented in the chart, click the monthly payments chart to select it. When the chart is selected, the related data is highlighted in the table. The Sheets pane, located to the left of the window above the Styles pane, displays the sheets and the tables and charts on each sheet. To show or hide all of a sheet's tables and chart, click the triangle to the left of the sheet in the pane. To rename a table or chart, double-click the name in the Sheets pane and make your changes. To add a new table, you choose an empty pre-formatted table that serves as a starting point. Click Tables in the toolbar and choose Blank. In the Styles pane, click Basic to apply the basic table style. To resize your table by adding rows and columns, click inside the table so the reference tabs are visible. To add a row, click the arrow near any rows reference tab to display its pop-up menu. Then choose Add Row Above or Add Row Below. To add a column, click the arrow in any columns reference tab to display its pop-up menu. Choose Add Column Before or Add Column After. Select your new table and experiment with the various selection handles to discover how they affect table size. To delete the table, select the table and press delete. To add a new table, from the table menu choose plane and apply the basic style to it. To add a header column, a header row and a footer row, select your new table. Click the buttons in the format bar that add a header column, a header row, and a footer row. You can remove a header column or row or a footer row by clicking this button again. To add a table name, select the table, in the Sheets pane, double-click the text next to a table's icon, type the name My Table, and press Return. In the Format bar, select the Name checkbox to show the name on the sheet.
to apply a different style to your table, make sure the table is selected and click a style. Add a column to the table by clicking any cell in the table and then clicking the column handle in the upper right hand corner. To delete rows, click the reference tab for the first row Hold down the shift key and click the reference tab for the last row that you want to delete. In this case, we are deleting row 7 to 10. Click the arrow near the row 10 reference tab and choose delete selected rows. In the header row and header column cells, add labels for columns and rows. Select cell B1, type Jan dash March, press tab, and then type April to June. Keep typing and pressing tab until all the header rows contain values. Select cell A2, type landscaping, press return, and then type roof repair. Keep typing and pressing return until you've typed gifts. Press the down arrow key to select the footer cell and then type totals. To apply a cell format to table cells, select cell B2, hold down the shift key and select cell F7. In the format bar, Click the Currency Format button to define a currency format. For even more control over cell formatting, you use the Cells Inspector. Open the Cells Inspector by clicking Inspector in the toolbar and then clicking the Cells Inspector button. Use this pop-up to change the currency symbol and select the currency and select to display the currency symbol at the left edge of the cell. Type numbers in the cells as shown below. You don't need to type the currency symbol, the thousand separator, the decimal point, or the decimal digits. As soon as you leave a cell, the currency format applies them automatically. To sort rows, click anywhere in the table. Rest the pointer over column B's reference tab. 
Click the arrow that appears in the reference tab to display its pop-up menu and then choose Sort Ascending. The rows are sorted using the values in column B. To see text wrapping in action, click on cell A2 and change appliances to kitchen appliances. The height of the cell changes to accommodate the longer text string. There are several kinds of cell controls. A checkbox is for cells whose value can be one or two states, such as yes or no. A slider enables you to make large changes to numbers very quickly. A stepper enables you to increase or decrease numbers in a specific predefined increments. A pop-up menu enables you to predefine specific values a cell can contain. We will add a stepper to cell D5. In the Cells Inspector, choose Stepper from the Cell Format pop-up menu. Change the maximum value to 10,000 and increment value to 500. In the Table Cell, click the up arrow in the Stepper twice. to increase the value in the cell to 6000. Press tab to select the adjacent cell. The stepper in cell D4 is no longer visible because a cell control is visible only when its cell is selected. The format bar gives you quick access to commonly needed formatting controls for the selected object. Here's what the format bar looks like with one or more cells selected. Format the style and color of text in a cell here. Align text in a cell here. Wrap text by clicking this. Apply a cell format by clicking this. Format cell borders here. And change a cell's background color here. When you want to draw attention to a particular cell, you can use color. To change the background color of a cell, select cell F7. In the format bar, click the fill button. In the palette that appears, select a color. You can also add color to a cell and to alternating rows using the table inspector. Select this checkbox and click the adjacent color well to apply a different color to every other row. To format the border at the bottom of the table, click the reference tab for the footer row to select all the cells in the row. In the format bar, choose bottom edge from the border selection pop-up menu. Choose a line style and stroke thickness for the border from the two adjacent pop-up menus. Click the color well to choose a color for the border. Numbers can automatically perform calculations for you. For example, you can have a spreadsheet automatically add a column of numbers and display the sum in the table cell. 
To add a quick formula, click on cell B7, the footer cell for column B. Click function in the toolbar and choose sum. The value 4000, the sum of two numbers in column B, appears in the column's footer cell. The sum changes whenever the values in column B change. To commit the value, click cell B2, type 4000, and then press tab. Notice the, ch the sum changes to 6005. To view a formula, click the cell in which the sum is displayed, and look at the formula bar to view the formula associated with the cell. Another way to add, view, and edit formulas is to use the formula editor. To view a formula using the formula editor, double-click cell B7. The formula editor opens with the formula in its text field. To add a formula using the formula editor, click outside the formula editor to close it. Click the column C footer cell. Type the equal sign to open the formula editor. In the text field, type sum followed by a left parenthesis. Click the column header April to June. Numbers adds the column name to the formula. Type a right parenthesis after the column name. Click the accept button. To quickly add the same formula to other cells, you can use autofilling. Select cell C7 and drag the fill handle to the right to select cells B7 and E7. The pointer changes to a plus sign when the fill handle is selected. To add a function using the function browser, click the column F footer cell. In the formula bar, click the function browser button. In the function browser, select numeric on the left and sum on the right. Click insert. The function appears in the formula editor and the formula bar and contains argument placeholders for you to replace with your own values. In the formula editor or the formula bar, select everything inside the left and right parentheses. And then click cells B7, C7, D7 and E7 to use them as arguments. Click the accept button to see the grand total displayed in the bottom right cell. You can have numbers perform instant calculations on values in one or more cells. Select cell C5 and D5.
and the calculation results are shown in the lower left corner. Now you can use the predefined template table to compare the loads. Select the load comparison table. Select cell B2 and type the equal sign to open the formula editor. Click the lower right cell in my table to indicate you want to display the grand total in cell B2 of the load comparison table. Click the accept button. The loan comparison table reappears with a value 40,500 in cell B2. Whenever the grand total in my table changes, the values in loan principal row are automatically updated. table data looks like in a colourful chart. You can also use shapes and graphics to make your spreadsheet more informative and inviting. To add and format a chart, click any cell in my table. Click and hold cell B2 and drag down to add cell B3 to the selection. Click Charts in the toolbar and choose the top left chart type. Numbers creates a 2D column chart that plots the two selected values. Click the Row button in the upper left. Each row is now represented in the chart using a different colour. Notice how the labels and legend beneath the chart have also changed. For quick formatting, use the format bar. For more extensive chart editing, use the Chart Inspector. Click Inspector in the toolbar and then click the Chart Inspector button. To change the chart, select the chart you created. Choose 3D pie chart from the pop-up menu in the upper left of the chart inspector. Hide the chart title and the legend by deselecting show title and show legend in the chart inspector. In the Chart Inspector, click Chart Colors. Choose 3D Texture Fields in the top pop-up menu and Marble in the lower pop-up menu. Click Apply All. and the chart displays the changes you've made. To add text, in the toolbar, click Text Box. You can change the parameters of the text box by using the Format toolbar. To move the text box, just drag it. To add a shape, in the toolbar, click Shapes and choose a shape. To add text to the shape, double-click it and type.
Change the shape's color and other attributes using the format bar or the graphic inspector. With others, you have several options. Before you share a sheet, you may want to paginate its contents. To paginate a sheet, select the sheet in the Sheets pane. To view a paginated version of your sheet, click View in the toolbar and choose Show Print View. To zoom out so that you can see more pages at a time, choose 50% from the pop-up menu in the lower left of the canvas. To adjust the size of all objects so they fit on fewer or more pages, move the content scale slider at the bottom of the window to the left or the right. To add headers and footers, click View in the toolbar and choose Show Layout. Put text or graphics in the header or footer area. To add a page number, Select the footer, choose insert page number, and align it to the right. Here are ways to share your spreadsheet. To print it, Select it in the Sheets pane and choose File, Print Sheet. To export your spreadsheet, choose File, Export, and choose a format. PDF files can be viewed or printed in Preview, Safari, and Adobe Reader. Excel files can be opened and edited in Microsoft Excel on a Mac OS X computer or Windows computer. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values, a file format that many spreadsheet applications can open. This is the end of this presentation. Thank you.